cards pop out for you there. Ace of Swords reverse. Interesting. You may be not letting yourself fully think about things the way that like you need to to step into your power around a situation. There may be like some resistance right now around like using the power of your logic if like your heart is really wanting to pull you in a certain direction and like you're worried <laughs> about what your brain might say oh are you grieving something and we got the lovers card on the bottom of the deck um maybe there's like a relationship that like you know if you're not experiencing like an actual physical loss maybe there's a relationship that like you're already sort of like starting to grieve on a level um but you're not like fully willing to commit to like the actionable step of like cutting the connection yet um but like <laughs> maybe you can feel like that might be needing to come let's see how can they um how can this person get this message for them? Like, how can they support themselves through this? And, you know, this isn't going to hit perfectly for everybody. If you have, like, a relationship you're really happy in, this isn't about you. Um, it could be about, like, a part of yourself that, like, you need to cut ties with. Or, like, a different form of partnership with someone that you love. Like, maybe some things need to change. And, like, you're having to grieve, like, an aspect of the relationship that you don't want to let go of. But, like, you're coming into more acceptance around, like, it's just not there anyway. And, like, eventually you're going to have to, like, you know, to be able to move on, potentially, you're going to have to, you know, cut the connection a little more firmly, at least in certain like aspects of it if that makes sense <laughs> we got this star card this card's been coming out a lot for the collective for our collective um i think you are a very special like beautiful person and you deserve the world and you deserve your like what's coming through is i feel like what your team wants to say here is like you are just such a special person to like your whole sort of like team of light and feeling um your sort of spirit team like they can see like how you know and this could even be like this could be whatever you don't have to have the same beliefs as me but i think like the message generally coming through here is like you're a really special person and um you shouldn't like settle for less than for like connections or aspects of connection that like make you dim that down that require you to to like maintain them and like I don't think you like can anymore like and I think that's like the point that you're getting to like you're you're coming into like more acceptance of that because you're realizing like yeah you just you kind of like have to choose you here you Yeah, your light is too bright and beautiful and important and powerful to keep like hidden and locked away within yourself. And like it hurts us when we try and like do that to ourselves too. Anyway, yeah, you've been like, I think really working hard at something, trying to make it work. And I feel like this, like, person you're in connection with, um, or this aspect of yourself, you know, maybe there's, like, a part of yourself that you're needing to, like, um, put in check a little bit more. Um, like, you've been really working hard on, like, shining your light brighter and, like, connecting back more to yourself and, like, trying to make, like, the connections around you potentially work and, like, I feel like that's maybe been a little bit of a one-sided venture. Yeah, you were, like, here trying to, like, hold on to all the swords by yourself. And, like, you know, you're trying to, like, make all the right logical choices for the... And it's, like, you literally can't carry all this by yourself. Like, you're trying to, like, rationalize things. 
um, think things through, part, like, carry all of the, like, mental, emotional weight of, like, pain and partnership, and, like, um, you can't. You can't do it anymore. <laughs> we got the grief card coming out again. I feel like this message is, like, resonating for some of you and maybe helping you, like, more fully accept, um, like, maybe you need to, like, maybe this is coming through again because something that needs to be said is, like, it's okay to, like, let yourself grieve, um, something that you're losing. Like, grief isn't just something that, like, we experience post, you know. It's, like, we're constantly in, like, ebbs and flows of grief with, like, things that we're having to, like, let go of in our lives because anytime we're, like, growing and letting new things into our experiences, we're having to, like, let other things go, too, and it's, it's hard. It's just, like, a hard part of life, and, like, maybe it's, like, nobody's fault, you know what I mean? Um, in the grand scheme of things, maybe you and this other person are just, like, being yourselves the best you can be in this moment, and people can only met you to the capacity that, like, they've met themselves if that makes sense I think I said that a little wrong but like I think you still have like a lot of love for this person and like you're just having to accept that like maybe things need to be different or maybe like some moving on needs to happen and like yeah again you're just trying to like carry I think you have like a lot of like love and passion for this person this like connection what you saw for it and it's just like it's too much to carry on by yourself what can the people here who this like message is resonating with like what can they do to like help support themselves a little bit better through this process through like any pain they're feeling or experiencing you gotta work on filling up your own cup and, um, it's gonna, like, you know, I think maybe you need to, like, even if you're not ready to, like, fully let go, like, sever this connection yet, like, maybe you don't have to right now, but maybe you can accept and start, like, grieving the fact that, like, it didn't go exactly how you want, wanted it to, and, like, that was painful, and, like, that's okay to accept and let yourself feel, and, like, it's okay to, like, grieve how you wanted things to be, and they could just, like need to be different and that doesn't like necessarily like need to be a full cut maybe it does but like I think you're resistant to that and like because there's a lot of love here and like you have to like fill up your own cup before you can like be good to like, anyone else like I think that RuPaul quote all the time like, if you ain't gonna love yourself how in the hell are you gonna love anybody else and it's so true like I think you're scared, like, if you take the time and energy to, like, fill up your own cup, opposed to, like, doing that for somebody else, like, you might be abandoned, and that's, like, a really real fear to sit with, but it's, like, something we have to, like, learn to and practice, like, it's something we have to learn to do and practice doing, like, that self-care, like, putting ourselves first, if we're gonna have, like, really meaningful, heart-overflowing relationships the way you want them, I feel like that's what you want, is, like, a connection, like, deep and like full of like love and like emotional fulfillment and um yeah maybe with like some sort of like masculine energy or maybe you want to like have a relationship with like some sort of masculine energy that like feels more like grounded that way and like I think it's gonna take you like if, if you're gonna get this you have to like honor your own like sensitivity perhaps and like care for your own self emotionally because we can't expect somebody else to like do or be able to do all of that work for us regardless of how much they love us 